Well, Jeff Mayweather here, the Mayweather Boxing Club. You know, yesterday boxing was hit with the devastating loss of Emmanuel Stewart. Uh, just how, how shocked were you to hear about his passing, you know? Well, I mean, it was, um, it was uh, I guess it wasn't something that no one expected, even though um, it was it was public knowledge that he was sick. But at the same time, they kept everything under wraps. So when so when it happened, it, it seemed like it was all it, it came suddenly, but it wasn't really sudden. Yeah, I mean, what did you remember most about him? Just you know, just over the years, everything he's kind of contributed to to, to oh, the sport. I mean, he's he's a trainer that transcended the sport of boxing. I mean, he's um, I think that he was uh, the first trainer that you know actually became the trainer for hire, which, you know, now which is, there's a lot of different trainers that, you know, that have a marquee name, you know, work with marquee fighters now that, you know, this, especially in this day and era, where so many fighters like to blame the trainer whenever they lose, so it's one of those situations in which, you know, um, is, he was kind of like the pioneer for that situation, for, for um, guys looking to better themselves by aligning themselves with him. You know, I mean, in the case with, um, I mean, I guess the, the most, the most case, the case that stands out most is Oliver McCall beating um, Lennox Lewis. And then next thing you know, he was in Lennox Lewis corner beating yeah. Oliver McCall. Yeah. You know, and I mean, and, and, and that just goes to show that, I mean, he's a great strategist. And, um, and he knows how to win, you know. But um, I think I think a lot of his legacy is gonna be. It's, it's kind of it's kind of funny because he's gonna be more remembered, I think, for the later part of his legacy with the Klitschko and Lennox Lewis, mm -hmm. and not so much, you know. Of course, with the attachment of Hearns, but I mean, he has so many champions. You know, he has so many champions. Worked with so many great fighters, and. Um, you know, I think even on the amateur level, I mean, when you saw that that yellow, blue, and red, you know, and that crunk, that 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 crunk, uh, you know, emblem on the back, mm -hmm. I mean, as an amateur, everybody was shook, you know, because they knew they they knew that you know they they always had a strong team, you know, and um, and of course had already had, you know. Um, great fighters in their stable, you know, some is already pro, you know, but on the, am on the amateur level, you know, I mean, when you seen that, when you seen that color, you, you knew that you was in for a fight, you know, um, you know, I fought, um, I fought a couple guys from crime, mm -hmm. you know, I was blessed and fortunate to, you know, to win, yeah. but, um, you know, still, it was always just the fact that whenever they showed up in the room, you know, you knew that, um, they were there to, you know, to, to win and he was always in great shape. He always had good fighters. And did you have any personal memories or interactions with Emmanuel? Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, always, always. Whenever I saw Emmanuel, we would talk, we talk boxing, we talk about life. You know, I mean, Emmanuel was a great guy. You know, I mean, outside of the ring, not just inside the ring. You know, um, I think he was a great human being. I mean, we never had no, we never had any problems at all. And um, and I like to say that when, um, you know, don't get me wrong, I mean, he's, he's an inspiration to me. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm hoping that I can achieve, you know, half the legacy that he has, yeah. you know, as a trainer. And, um, of course, I have the memory of um, facing him with um, Sartre and Bragamoff against um, Vladimir Klitschko. Yeah. And, um, of course, you know, that was, to me, that was my... Um, accepting the fact that I've arrived, I've arrived as a trainer, you know, just in the boxing world itself, you know, I mean, here I am, you know, I'm training the heavyweight champion in the world, and coming out the other corner, he's one of the greatest trainers ever, so, you know, that, I mean, that's an unforgettable, you know, situation for me, but, um, of course, after the fight, and even in the pre-fight, I mean, we always we would talk, we would have, you know, we would laugh and joke. It was, it was the same thing after the fight, you know. And um, you know, he always wished me well, and, and he always, you know, congratulated me and told me that, you know, he thought I would be a great trainer too one day. Awesome, man. Thanks a lot, Jeff. Great answer.